Vieira is where I work, live, play, and where my wife and I have chosen to raise our children. This video is meant to be an overview of all things Vieira, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Well, for starters, Vieira is not actually a city. If you live in Vieira, you technically live in Melbourne or Rockledge. I know, it's confusing. But if you put Vieira on your mailing address, as far as the post office is concerned, it will still be delivered to your house. And that's just the magic of USPS. If you were to take the entire length of Brevard County and fold it in half, Vieira is gonna land right there in the middle. Vieira is roughly 14,500 acres and is currently being developed by the Vieira Company. Now the Vieira Company is a subsidiary of Aduda and Sons, who actually owned most of this land in Vieira. According to the 2020 census, Vieira had an estimated population of right around 30,000 people. Currently, there are nearly 80 different neighborhoods that make up all of Vieira, and they're almost equally divided between Vieira East and Vieira West. And in case you're wondering where we're at, we are currently in an awesome restaurant. We'll get to that a little bit later. The thing about Vieira is everything is newer. It's a little bit more expensive, and most of the homes were built after the year 2000. Now, with all of that being said, Vieira is a top 10 master planned community in the country. When it comes to the walkability score for Vieira, it's about on average with the rest of the county, which is actually a little low. But if you look at the golf cart ability, it's extremely high. I think most people understand that Vieira is a golf cart community. We even have oversized sidewalks to accommodate pedestrian and golf cart traffic. One of the biggest draws to the area is the Avenue Vieira, which opened up in 2004. It's a 600,000 square foot open air shopping center with around 100 shops and restaurants. Plus, there's a movie theater. Sadly, it's not IMAX. Come on, Vieira, let's step it up. And in case you're wondering what my favorite restaurant is in the avenue, it's right behind me and it's 28 North. They have an incredibly amazing menu, awesome cocktails, and the ambiance in there, second to none. Now the avenue is awesome. There's tons of things to do here. It's family friendly and just a really cool vibe. But the town center, have you heard of that? If not, check out this video because that, my friends, is gonna be bananas. Now right around the corner from the avenue is the USS SA Complex, which is essentially a softball and baseball venue. And for all of you golfers out there, Vieira has a ton of different golf courses. And I gotta tell you, they are all terrific. And if you're asking me, they're all a hole in one. They are all the best around by par. I mean by far, by far. Now without a doubt, one of the bigger draws to Vieira is going to be the public school and charter and private school systems. All of the schools have great ratings and they are actually continuing to create and develop new schools such as the Vieira Middle School that we've talked about that's opening in 2025. There is a new elementary school that just opened up within the last 18 months. So as far as education, is concerned in Vieira, they know it's a focal point and it's why people live in this area. So if you're worried about that or concerned about it, Vieira has you covered. When it comes to living in Vieira, most of the neighborhoods are connected with walking and biking trails or interconnected. Uh, we already talked about the larger sidewalks that accommodate both golf carts and pedestrian traffic. And that's just like another level of the culture that Vieira has established. And I'm a huge fan of the trails. It gives me really safe places to run um, as far as picking up my children from daycare and other kind of daily activities we do in the golf cart. It's just nice having the uh, infrastructure for that type of transportation. For those of you that need to commute for work, Vera is located in a way that gives you at least three access points to Interstate 95, which will get you to the most northern end or southern end of the county. And if you need to hit Orlando, you're about 60 minutes away. And also, Brevard County is home to one Costco, and I'll give you a single guess as to where it's located. That's right, Vieira. So earlier we talked about the roughly 80 neighborhoods that make up all of Vieira. Now, Vieira has done a really good job as what they're calling multi-generational subdivisions, which would include 55 and up communities. Now in the surrounding area, there are a plethora of 55 and up communities. Some of the more popular ones are gonna be Del Webb, You've got Bridgewater and you also have Heritage Isle. All of those communities are what they're calling active adult communities, meaning there's a clubhouse and other extracurricular activities that the 55 and up community can partake in. 
Now you might be wondering how it's so convenient and, and all these other great amenities that exist in Vieira. And it's because most, if not all of the communities within Vieira do have an HOA. Now something I did want to mention is Brevard County is home to the Brevard Zoo, which is actually right here in Vieira. And I will tell you right now, it's an incredible zoo and something my children absolutely love. We are members and I think you should be one too. This isn't sponsored by Brevard Zoo yet. And that is Vieira in a nutshell. And of course there are things we did not cover because if we covered them all, you would honestly never make it to the end of the video. So you're welcome. And look guys, if you found this video remotely valuable, I would really appreciate a like and a sub. And I'm not talking about the Publix variety, although they are quite delicious. Mm. Gotta love those pub subs. My name is Shane Bergman, your local Vieira expert, and I appreciate your time. For more Vieira content, check out one of these other videos.